Can a stone be cursed? If evil exists as an innate force in the universe, could it be concentrated into mineral form? In a remote village in rural England, an ancient custom developed from this very supposition, which is maintained to this day. What the devil is going on here? Well, this stone, which you can see is absolutely terrifying these children, is known locally as the Devil's Stone. The Devil's Stone is largely ignored here. There's only one day of the year anyone pays any attention to it, and that is today, the 5th of November. Normally a day associated with gunpowder, treason and plot. But in this village in Devon, it's associated instead with a stone. Um, they have lit it up and there's a whole large gathering which you can't see in the darkness over there, eating pork and drinking beer and preparing to heave this stone and turn it over. As they have every year on this date before records, since before records began. Some books I have read from the 19th century claim that this tradition dates back to Anglo-Saxon times the turning of the Devil's Stone. But the truth is, we simply don't know why it is done or when it started to be done. All we can say is that the locals have believed, since before people can remember, that if they don't turn this stone over tonight, every year, then the Devil will come. And even the local pub is named after this stone, the Devil's Stone. So, thanks to the strong lads of this village who will come soon enough, we can be certain that the devil will not plague these lovable children. Of course, you might have guessed that the Devil's Stone Inn is, of course, haunted. Beneath its arms there lays a stone where the devil rests his weary bones, and every year they turn it o'er with crowbars and a hearty roar. They will not let the devil rest, he is no good in such a pest. But away he creeps and away he flies, but comes again before they rise. Can I get the dog in the car? Okay, give it to him. He doesn't like it. Why, why would bikers be interested in this ancient turning of the stone ceremony? Yeah, I think it's a thing that, you, you, you know, I mean, people just, um, a traditional thing that they've been doing for many, many years. Mm. And um, I suppose bikers love to see it and they like coming out and have a chat, have a beer or whatever in a lovely evening. And I guess what better do you want? Well put. Yeah. Well, do, you, what, do you have any opinion on the stone itself? I mean, I, I think it's a great thing, really. I mean, my opinion is, you know, they turn in every year and, um, yeah, I mean, very good. I take it, I got it, it come from Dartmoor. I, did, did it? I so? think he did, there's two stones like it, but that's only because I'm only a teenager, really. I mean, you, you know, like I say, um, I think there was two similar stones like it. Do you think the attitudes to the stone have changed in the in the, in the village of Shevia? I mean, like I say, I've seen it the last 10 years now. I mean, I think there's more people than, than there used to, you know, coming to see it. And obviously people moving down here, you get more spectators. When I first came, I thought, what is this? What earth do I do with it? And I think some of my predecessors were quite wary of it as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, it, it's grown as, as the years have gone and the numbers have grown as well, enormously. This is Shevia. Not for us any fantastical fun of, of uh, Guy Fawkes night. Not for us the burning a bonfire or, uh, or the fun of fireworks. Not for us, the almost destruction of Parliament. <laughs> and nor for us, a great big birthday celebration, even if this is your day. Happy birthday, if it is. For this is Shabia.
And in Shebia, we turn the stone on the 5th of November. Tradition we go back to. Tradition that goes back into the mysteries of, of the centuries of time. For the Bible tells us that the devil thought he could have all things for himself. He rose up in heaven. He thought he could be in control. But God said, no. The archangel Michael was sent to cast him out with his angelic host. Imagine the scene. The battle is lost. The devil must go. It's part of the cost. But not now, he pleads. An extension, please. <laughs> Flexible, if you like. <laughs> but go, he must. And so at last, the devil is cast out from heaven, cast from heaven to earth below, but not to die in a ditch. <laughs> That's North Loo. <laughs> Trapped by a stone. That's how he's brought low. But even then, still his wiles seep out from below. He's trapped, he may be, but still his secret deals are there for each of us a tr a to be tempted by. Resist him, to resist those secret thoughts that come, that, in that entice us so. Those visions that never quite work out, those words that so easily harm. We need God help, God's help still each day. And so we come with Church of Michael here behind. We come once more to seek the power of, of, uh, from above. We come as a sign to turn the stone once more this year. And so people of Shebia and beyond, let us call upon Ringer Strong to once again turn the stone. Let's cry. Turn the stone. It's based up, it comes out of a story in the Bible, in the book of Revelation, of the devil being cast out of heaven. Um, and if you like, it's Easter, the other end of the year. But so many places on hilltops were associated with, with Michael, the archangel, right. with a battle with, with Satan. Mm -hmm. um, St. Michael's Mount down in Cornwall is a classic example. Um, Brentor is another just down the road from here. Mm -hmm. So here we're up on a hill, it's St. Michael's Church. Mm -hmm. There's a stone which doesn't belong. It's a glacial moraine. Um, how, you know, so presumably was brought here in glacial times. There was, uh, it doesn't fit with the geology of the area. So stories become associated. Maybe there was a particular incident or something. Who knows? Do you know when the church became St Michael's, when it was first named there? Well, it's always been St Michael's that we know of. Uh, and there's been a church here since Saxon times. So it's possible this is a Saxon tradition? Uh, quite possibly. Certainly there was a, the Saxons knew of the stone, they used it. It was a place where you came and paid your taxes. Oh, really? Oh. This was the central point of the Se Shebi 100, yes. Ah, oh, that's interesting. So th there's certainly been mythology going back to the very beginning. There's associations with the stone so well, yeah, going well, well back.
and you're intending you're going to do your part to make sure they carry on into the uh, it's, it's part of the local tradition here yeah it didn't happen during the war all right um for obvious reasons you know you couldn't uh, easily get people together lights and so on were discouraged at night but people still came out surreptitiously and the stone was turned. Yeah, <laughs> so there's, a tr there's an ancient tradition here that, that people value and one can build on. Oh, yeah.